Hey there, welcome back to another video of the Facebook course ads yeah, for Facebook ads. Um, so today we're going to be talking about um, how to create an ad. Finally, we're getting there very close to actually creating an ad. Um, I'm going to close this without saving. Real quick, a couple things. If you haven't watched uh, a couple of videos, prior couple of videos before this, go back and rewatch it if you don't know how to get here, right? For brand new, if you're brand new and you don't know where I am right now, uh, this is what is called the Ads Manager or Business Ads Manager. And um, if you don't know how to get here, go ahead and watch the other videos because it's one of the requirements to have an ad, ad account uh, in order to follow through what we're doing, right? And uh, so another requirement is going to be to have a business page. So again, like I mentioned before, in this video, we're going to be getting started with the process of creating an ad. Um, once you get to your ads manager, what you'll do is go ahead and click the create button. Once you have a create button, um, maybe you're going to see from Facebook asking you if you want to use a guide version or quick creation version. I mostly use the quick creation version, but for training purposes, I'm going to be doing the guide version, guide version. And this is what most uh, people getting started use just because like it's the name says it, right? It's a guide version and it kind of, you, kind of tells you what are the components you need to go through to get the ad uh, built. Okay. And then running, running eventually. So. Over here on the left side, you'll notice it says campaign, ad set, and ad. These are components that uh, are needed in order for the ad to be created. The ad, I think of it of the ad campaign as the top level of the campaign. If you're looking at as a triangle, right? You have the top block, which is the campaign, which is basically telling um, the player on a basketball court, so to speak. Uh, where to go, right? The ad set below that, let's say, is the middle block that contains the money, the amount of money you want to spend, the audience you want to target, uh, the placement, meaning where you want your ad to be shown, and then at the bottom top, the bottom portion, you have the the players, right? The ones that go out there. Um, if you put a, if you think of it as a basketball team. Well, the ad portion where you create the ads, that's where you actually go and set up the text, the images, video, the headlines, depending on what you want to use. All the campaign at the top level, uh, the first thing you have to do is choose a, an objective, right? What is the goal you want to achieve with your ad? You want people to be aware of your business or just reach as many people as possible without letting to, the algorithm think to do too much, right? The other things you have is these actually have you have the algorithm working more for you to achieve specific um, objectives that you give. So if you give an objective to generate traffic, well, that Facebook is going to go out there and find people that are more likely to generate your traffic to either your website, messenger apps, etc. Right? So it's going to be looking for people that are, are more willing or to click on or whatever objective you set up to go to your capture page if that's what you want. You know, engagement, meaning people that interact with your ad, videos, you want more people, to, you want Facebook to go find videos that are more, people that are more willing to watch a video ad. You want an ad to generate leads using the Facebook leads form. You want uh, Facebook to go and find you people that are more likely to um, generate a conversation send into Messenger. Um, conversion, conversion, right? You want you want Facebook to go and find you people that are more likely to not just go to your landing page, but perform an action, right? Perform an action, either be um, becoming a lead, right? Opting for a page, becoming a lead, um, and so to, and so on, right? So those are the type of uh, objectives. Let's say, for example, traffic, right? Let's say as a traffic test just so that we can move to the next section. And you can see what are the different sections. So we got our objective at the campaign level, which is the top section. If you remember, if you're looking at the pyramid, 
then below that we got there or ad set right what in and under campaign you can have multiple ad sets okay now the reason why you may want to have multiple ad sets is because let's say on one ad set you want to be spending one amount for example or on one ad set you want to be targeting people let's say for example i'm in the between san francisco and sacramento let's say on one ad set i want to target people in san francisco city right one on the other one i want to target people in sacramento now on one ad set i want i can definitely choose to target both cities at the same time but if i'm not trying to figure out okay which if i have a business uh let me try to figure out which city is more um or or, or let me figure out right which uh, where do I get the most sales from? Which city, right? So I can focus more on one specifically, right, than the other one. That's one one reason why you may want to set up the different ad sets. Now, um, a lot of what people do with testing as well with different ad sets is because they want to target perhaps if you want to target people based on what they like, right? You want to target people based on because they some like um, Gary, Gary Vaynerchuk, for example, right? Big uh, guru person in the marketing war and then you have let's say Grant Cardone right a big sales training in the sales training world um, so if you want to test okay which you know if I'm targeting one of these two person um, which uh, of their audiences uh, my ad is more op more likely to resonate with so that's sort of the there were some of the reasons why you will have more than one ad set you can have more than one campaign as well, right? You want, uh, why you want to want to have more than one campaign? Well, a good example I can give you is because maybe you want a campaign that is to generate traffic to send to a landing page. Maybe you have another campaign because you want to generate more views on a specific video, right? You're trying to go to get a video to go viral. Right? Who knows, right? So there, there are different reasons why you may want to have a com different campaign or different ad set. Just want to give you a quick idea of um, a, a quick general overview, you know, how the campaigns and ad set works. Um, on the ad set level, you want to name it. Um, usually, typically what I do is I name my ad sets to give me a quick uh, reminder what type of, what am I using that ad set for, right? Am I targeting a specific group of people? Am I targeting a specific city? Am I targeting specific ages? So I use those names to, to remind me what the ad set is about. So that I don't have to go into the ad set and check, and that's gonna be helpful to you if, once, especially if you start running multiple campaigns. Okay, so let's say for example that I'm targeting people in Sacramento that are 21 and over, and that's just one quick example. And let's say I wanted, I want to use the traffic of website. I want to be, be sending people to my website, which will be my my capture page uh, I will not recommend you to send people to um, if you have a business opportunity uh, don't send it like that to there right because those websites are not designed to uh, generate leads if that's sort of what you're trying to do but again let's do let's leave that for another video right now I just want to get you through a quick overview of how to create an ad uh, there you can choose app messenger if you want people to go to your to send you messages, uh, WhatsApp. If you want to send people to WhatsApp, so let's leave a, a website. Offers is really good for brick and mortar locations. You know, like restaurants, retail locations. Uh, you can generate offers. Um, audiences, right? If you have prior audiences, you will put them in here. Again, let's just skip that for now. I just want to give you a quick overview locations right so I say Sacramento so because I wanted to reach people in Sacramento based on the ad set that I named so let's do that right I want to reach people that are around Sacramento I mentioned that I wanted people to reach people over 21 um, let's say for example I am targeting a special deal on two local people around Sacramento right let's say I'm a I'm a steakhouse and I'm giving away a coupon or something like that. I don't want to choose a language. Uh, I don't want to do any detailed targeting. 
uh, simply because I'm doing giving an, an offer, right, of a free steak, for example. Um, but here in detailed targeting, or here at this section at the audience level, is where you can choose the gender, ages. Now, remember again the, the, again, the ads policies, right? If you are promoting something that um, it has age restrictions, right? Like, for example, you know, the uh, non US, the drinking legal age is 21 and over. The, obviously, for those ads, if you have something related to alcohol, obviously, you will not uh, put over here an age on people under 21, okay? Just because that's against. Uh, Facebook policies, and, you know, obviously the U.S. laws as well. That's against U.S. laws. Hmm. Uh, this is strange. I have a potential reach of 1,000 people. I wonder why. Never mind. Let's continue. I, I'm just curious, like, okay, why I haven't put anything at all. I just, all I did is put, I want to reach people in Sacramento. Sacramento is a big city. There's way more than a thousand people that I can reach in Sacramento in the age, in the ages of 21 and over. Not sure why it's like that. Um, languages, right? You can set up a language. Detailed targeting. This is where you can choose either if you want to talk by, target by demographics. These are what is included in demographics, right? Education. Um, level, fields of study, schools, you can re target people based on financial, meaning the incomes, life events, even if they're parents, uh, they have a specific political preference, if they are, uh, the, if they have, if their uh, relationship status, right, uh, work, employers, industry, job titles, interests, right, you can also type in over here without going through all the browsing section. I, I show you the browsing so that you kind of can see what are, if you go through browser, what all the different um, options are available. But if you start typing in, um, for example, if I want to reach people that I like Grant Cardone, who is a sales coach, very popular, right? It tells you right there, okay, this is an interest base that you're going to be looking at, people that are uh, interested because based on people who have expressed an interest in or like pages related to Greg Cardone, it, that has an overall size in Facebook of 12 million. So if I choose this one, um, that number is going to change, of course. It's not going to be 12 million because we're not targeting worldwide. We're targeting based on Sacramento. So according to this, to Facebook, we can reach about 110,000 people that likes Grant Cardone, that are around the Sacramento area, within these ages, um, male, female, doesn't matter, and we didn't choose a language. So that's kind of what the target, the detail targeting, that's what you can do. Hi. Hi, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, that was my kid. That's on the detail targeting, what you can do, right? You can target people based on interests, um, demographics, behaviors. In the next section, you can choose a placement, you can leave it automatic, Mama. or you can edit the placement, right? You wanna choose either to just go in the news feeds. Now, obviously, uh, depending on the ad type that you're doing, right? You're doing a video, you're doing a, just a picture. Um, even if you leave this check, the ads will not show on, on something, for example, like if you're doing a picture, it will not show, for example, like in stream videos or suggested videos, right? Because it's just a picture. Um, and I think Facebook will give you a, uh, a warning uh, that that type of ad will not run a specific section. You can tell, you can tell Facebook if you, if you wanna run on Instagram, your audience network, which is the different multiple places where Facebook buy ads and other applications or websites, right? Facebook don't just run ads within the Facebook platforms or applications. They also run ads in um, uh, other applications or other websites where they basically pay those, you know, pay money for, for the ads to be shown on there. Uh, then you can tell it to run 
uh, ads in the messenger app as well. It's kind of what it shows, right? Um, you can tell it to run ads on a specific mobile device, either it be Android, iOS, or feature. Looks like that's not available anymore. You can tell it to either if you want to just uh, reach people that are connected to Wi-Fi. Then you can set up a budget. You can say either daily or lifetime, right? A lifetime means that if you know you're only going to be spending $100 per month, then you can put $100, and that's your budget. And then you can tell it to uh, set up a, a start and end date. And if you want, if you know that uh, $100 is your budget for that month, um, then you basically set up an, a start and an end date for the specific number of days that you want, okay? Um, then you have, we choose, because we chose a traffic objective, then you have landing page view or other options. Now landing page view, if you're choosing a traffic objective, um, it means that Facebook is going to look for the people that actually are clicking on your ad and waiting for the page to be loaded. So when you send, when you have a poll of 110,000 people and Facebook is going out and reaching all these people based on your ad, right? Um, there's going to be multiple people that may be interested at first and then they may leave right away, right? There's many reasons why, right? But, but if you do your ad text, your uh, image or your video, your uh, headline, head, head, headline, something that actually has a, uh, um, a, uh, a text that will filter out some type of people, right? Um, that's gonna, all of that's gonna help to Facebook as well, right? Because if you have a text specifically targeting to people, it means that most of the people that click are going to want to see what's next. Those people that clicks and leaves immediately, Facebook is going to record that and say, okay, these type of people that are just clicking and leaving are not the type of people that we want to go after. So let's go and continue gathering information. Let's go ahead and con continue to show the ad to more people and gathering data, right? The more people that actually click on your ad, seize your landing page and wait for it to load, Facebook is recording all that and keeping like a mental note, so to speak. Oh, okay, this person uh, is more willing to wait for it to load because either they found them very interesting, right? So let's go ahead and find more people like this one that um, could be more interested on on the ad to actually go click on it and see the landing page and wait for it to load. So that's basically the what it's called the algorithm working for you, right? That's the landing page view. Uh, objective that would be optimization that we're picking over here is going to go ahead and find you people that are more uh, likely to click on your ad and wait for the page to load the website or your landing page etc if you choose other options for example if you link if you click if you choose link clicks that's basically all what Facebook is going to do going to go ahead and find people that are more likely to click on your ad a lot of times doesn't mean that uh, you're getting the best people to click on it. And impressions is just that, right? That we just deliver your ads to people as many times as possible so that you get the most impressions. Uh, daily unique reach will deliver your ads to people up to once per day. Bit strategy, ad scheduling, in case you, for example, are running ads um, for a business that only operates during business, uh, you know, during specific business hours, you can do the, uh, do the uh, run ads on a specific schedule. When you click on that, this works only um, on um, when you're doing ads for a um, lifetime. Is that what it's called? Um, using the lifetime budget. If you choose daily budget, you don't have that option anymore to run ads on a schedule. Okay. So that's this portion over here, the ad set. We're almost there to get the ad get set up and going. Uh, the next is to choose the page where you want to run your ad. If you manage multiple pages, you're going to have an option to choose. 
Now, if you uh, have your business Instagram profile linked to your business page, to your ad account, you're gonna be able to choose the Instagram ad account you wanna use. Then you get to choose either if you wanna run um, what type of format, right? Single images, carousel, and it tells you here, right? Create an ad with two or more scrollable images, a single video, you wanna create a show, slideshow, you wanna create a collection. Uh, you wanna set up an ad and instant experience, right? So now Facebook is allowing you to build like a mobile landing pages within the, the Facebook environment without you and having to build a landing page on a separate software or platform. Um, so you can definitely explore that. Um, now, depending on the objective, if you're collecting leads, you still got to send people somewhere, right? So that's just a feature that is there that you may want to try. Uh, for this one, we chose single image. You can either browse library, right? It's gonna tell you which images are already on the account, on the ad account. You can either uh, look for specific keywords and um, find photos, stock photos, right? Stock photos that are powered by Shutterstock. If I'm looking for, do a commercial for steak, I can look for a specific keyword stake. Or I can choose the pictures that are already on my page or my Instagram account. So let's choose stock for example. Hit continue. Um, then you can tell people to, um, you can tell Facebook that you want to advertise specific event or send people to a website. So if you are big into uh, promoting uh, or doing workshops locally or not locally, you know, but online as well, right? You're doing webinars. Um, you know, th this is, an, again, another way for you to uh, advertise that webinar that you set up perhaps as a Facebook event. Or if you have a website where you're trying to send people to go ahead and do so. As I mentioned before, uh, if you are affiliated to a company or are doing direct sales for a specific company, I would not recommend you to send people to your uh, replicated site, right? Right. I mean by that is, let's say, a big multi-level marketing company is, for example, um, uh, Herbalife, right? So a lot of people that are doing direct sales for Herbalife, they do not, um, they have a replicated website. And so you will not be sending people to the replicated website simply because it's not a, a website that is um, built to generate leads. This is something that you'll use uh, to send to people that already know you and that they uh, are in essence, your customers, or they already understand that they need to go to a specific website to purchase something. This is not where you send people to um, to get people to, um, you know, cold lead, so to speak, to get people to buy from you or to just even create an account. No, that's not what you um, you want to do. So you set up the website link. Uh, I mean, this is where you. Uh, this is where uh, the, the the link type for your ad. Uh, let's leave that for website. Then you create some text, right? Hey, hey, Sacramento. Enjoy a free, delicious steak. this Saturday only, and then you can choose a date, one, I don't know, 14, for example, from, just say just dinner, 6 to 9 p.m. This is just uh, an example, right? You can put a website, steakhouse.com. You can choose a headline. Enjoy this, enjoy a free steak. Hey, Zach, 
um, enjoy a free steak. This is an example of a headline. Um, you can choose to learn more or to, I don't know, get offer, get quote, etc. right? So let's say, for example, get offer. That's the button that will show up over here. Uh, you can put display link. I put steakhouse.com. And then newsfeed links is basically what shows underneath right here, right? So for example, uh, um, hurry, you know, offer expires soon. It's just a quick example. And the mobile version doesn't show, let's see in the desktop version. This desktop version will show it. Here you can preview the different versions that are, will be available where this ad is gonna be showing, okay? So it will show in the mobile news feed. This is how it's gonna show in the desktop news feed, just in case you wanna preview what's gonna look like in, in other um, platforms. This is, for example, the Insta article. This is the desktop right column column right which is uh, let's see if I can show you that real quick so the right columns are ads that are gonna show up on this side you can see over here this is a sponsor right column ad so that's what it is there and then if I go uh, navigate in through Facebook um, to different sections, um, those ads will be changing. As you can see, this is another ad now. Um, this is, uh, that's basically the, the, the um, what do we call? The desktop right column, okay? Now, it has that name, name specifically desktop right column because it's only gonna be applicable to uh, show people that are using the computers, people that are on the mobile version, that will now be shown. This is what the marketplace ad will look like. This is a Facebook story. It's going to show as a image. This is what the show is going like, to look like on Instagram. Right? This is an Instagram story, similar to the one Facebook story we saw. Audience network. Um, again, the audience network, as I mentioned before, is ad space that Facebook purchased in different uh, platforms, either be applica applications, mobile applications, um, other websites, etc. Native, banners, banner ads, okay. Networks, network rewarded video, this ad format is not currently supported on rewarded ads. Messenger inbox, ads don't support the selected call to action. Okay, so that tells you right there what where the ad is going to be shown. As you can see, it's going to be showing a lot of different spaces based on what we chose to. But you can limit that to just showing on the news feeds on Instagram and Facebook if you want to. Then you have all the options. Then you have your Facebook pixel that is turned on and off, but we didn't go into that because we haven't covered that section yet. That will be another video. And then we will go and either review or confirm if you want to place your order. Uh, if you just close this, Facebook is going to tell you if you want to save it or not. If you save it, that's fine. You can come back to this later, right? Let's say you, you were in a hurry for some reason. Don't worry. You can go ahead and close it and save it. Um, and if you leave it like this, Facebook automatically should save it. If you hit confirm, then it's going to go ahead and um, Facebook is gonna, you're gonna go ahead and place the order. Facebook is gonna go ahead and start the review process. Now, if there are fixed issues, like I do have right now, an issue, uh, Facebook is gonna tell you, it's not gonna let you um, complete it, the order until you fix your issues. So let's go ahead and close this for now and um, hope um, you, I hope to see you in the next video. All right, bye.